going on, people? Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that's following this blog. Thank Nola.com for posting it. Uh, we love y'all, man. We really, we really, really, really love y'all. We love everything y'all doing for us. So, today, I woke up, brushed my teeth, got dressed. We got to do a, a couple of master classes in a... Uh, Go to the office and talk to some kids, and then later tonight, I'm gonna be playing with a kid orchestra or a kid band or something like that out here. So it should be pretty cool, man. We gonna have some fun. So this is the school, right? Yeah. All right. What's the name of the school? Yeah. That's all you can do. I think it's just called Jazz School. This, this is just school. It's the school. It's a public school. Oh. Public school. And this yeah. Is school. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, man. We have one floor for Jazz School. They got, they got music though. They got, they music. got music. They got music in the school. Music in the school, in the elementary school. I went there just when I was in school. has a big band. That's awesome. Pianos in every class. Pianos in every class. Come on, look, New Orleans, we are the birthplace of jazz and we don't even have a red ball. Everywhere we go, as we, we make sure we have red ball waiting on us. <laughs> right? We are in Kazakhstan. That's the only thing in every country. <laughs> 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 Kids yeah. orphanage. This is a library. Orphanage. Which one is this? Which one is this? This the library. Yes. Oh, library. But I am a teacher of uh, the English language from uh, Kazakh National Pedagogical University. Wow. Yeah. She speaks pretty good English. Good English. She was glad to talk. Glad to show us that she can speak English. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Back 
to the Amada Jazz Festival. In our tradition, what I'm doing now, in our traditions, the youngest woman on the table is serving tea to everyone. All right. It's not like everyone is pouring tea for himself or herself, but it should be someone doing it. Okay. And we are doing it from a small kettle, tea okay. is inside, to such type of bowls. We call them piala. Kazakh people were living nomadic lifestyle and had a, this vast territory and were sort of um, didn't have a permanent houses or permanent um, cities, but uh, my, uh, the way of their living was uh, growing animals, sheep, horse, cows, and sort of that was the main uh, sort of style of their living. And of course, they were eating the animals they were growing, so they were growing horses and eating them. Uh, so. This look like regular old roast beef right here. Doesn't it look right. like it's cut kind of right. small it's, it's, though, right? It's really good. I'm gonna try it. This horse meat. Horse meat. Horse meat. How you say horse in, 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 in Russian? In Russian, uh, horse is koi. Koi? What about kazakh? Uh, kazakh. An. Ooh. Horse meat. Me and Will are about to eat horse meat. I'm about to try the horse meat. Went to Brazil and ate chicken. I'll be happy to capture this moment. I'm going in. <laughs> going in. Alright. Oh. oh, Will's going in first. Uh oh. I think I'm going to grab it and try it. Oh, if it's all cold. It... Uh oh. Here they go. Yeah, it's like an appetizer. No, it's like, <laughs> no, like liver cheese. <laughs> It, it look, it's not the fact that it's a passion. It's not that, it's the thought that I know that I'm eating a horse. I know friends that have horses. You know, Kazakh people. Oh. And the nomadic lifestyle. Do you know the nomadic lifestyle? So, uh, Kazakh people. Are we going to try? They didn't have so no. <laughs> Oh, try. Alright, Floyd, trying the horse. It tastes like roast beef. Oh. Hey, no big deal. Not bad. I'm chewing, I ain't never swallowed yet. <laughs> Chew, you don't eat it. <laughs> yeah? No. Not bad. I don't eat it. Mmm. Okay, horse eating 101. <laughs>